Please rise up for the pre presentation of colors. Please be seated. A little dark out there. Uh, <laughs> glad to see the white coats. Good evening, late afternoon. I am Dr. Carolyn Montoya, the interim dean of the College of Nursing. And I am so proud to say that because I am a native New Mexican. I am a first generation out of my family for a college education. And I am absolutely thrilled to be here with you. <laughs> this is the class of 2025, and this is our white coat ceremony. Joining me on stage today uh, for the ceremony is Rachel Frija, Dr. Rachel Frija, um, Dr. Kristen Ostrom -Nek Nekvich, and she is the Associate Professor, Director of the Undergraduate Pre Licensure Program and Interim Assistant Dean of the Undergraduate Education. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Dakin is the Special Assistant to the Assistant Dean because as I read Dr. Ostrom's um, credentials, there's a lot on her plate. <laughs> Dr. Karen Ludy, Nursing Director of our Rio Rancho Health Sciences, yay! <laughs> Mitch Irvin, who is our Freshman Direct Entry Director. And we are really pleased to have the level coordinators with us. April Tafoy is the level one coordinator. <laughs> Kathy Dolan Cox is the level two coordinator. Maggie Faber is the level three coordinator. Leanna Vargas is the level five coordinator. And we also want to recognize our partners. Diane Wesner is the nursing director at Central New Mexico. And also Don Kidder, who's the nursing director of the Taos campus. I would also like to recognize the UNM College of Nursing faculty who provide an exceptional educational experience for our students. And I also want a big round of applause for the staff who put all of this together. <laughs> S 
Students, today you will receive your first white coat as you embark on your journey in nursing education. This event allows the College of Nursing to officially welcome you into our profession. Your white coat serves as a powerful symbol of compassion combined with scientific excellence. You are a very impressive group of students. There are over 130 of you in attendance today, and you all come from many different backgrounds and different cultures. You are representative of the candidates we have been admitting to the College of Nursing ever since we opened our doors in 1955. I look forward to seeing you all succeed at the University of New Mexico College of Nursing and throughout your career as a nurse. You will be remarkable. And the reason you have to be remarkable is because I'm getting older and some of you are going to take care of me. So I want to be sure that you do remarkable things. So having said that, I'm going to start with our keynote ad address. I'm going to introduce to you our keynote speaker, who is Dr. Rachel Frija. She is the Corporate Director of Clinical Education for Ardent Health Services. She is responsible for the development and direction of enterprise-wide clinical, uh, clinical education initiatives covering 30 hospitals across six states. That is remarkable. She previously served as the Director of Employee Education, Program Director for the Entry to Practice Nurse Residency Program, and Interim Director of the Post-Surgical Unit at Loveless Medical Center, a subsidiary of Ardent, and as the Delivery System Manager for Clinical Education and Professional Development at Presbyterian Healthcare Services in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She has over 25 years of nursing experience with a background in nursing professional development, oncology clinical research, solid organ and bone marrow stem cell trans transplantation, and medical ICU. She earned her DNP, Doctor of Nursing Practice, in Nurse Executive Organizational Leadership with distinction from the University of New Mexico in 2019 at the College of Nursing and Masters in Nursing Education 2016. She has extensive experience in nurse residency and fellowship program development and has served as an American Nurses uh, Credentialing Center as an appraiser of those programs. She is also certified by the uh, American Nurses Credentialing Center as a nursing, in nursing professional development and as a nurse executive advanced. She's an active member of, of the Association for Nursing Professional Development and currently serves as the ANPD treasurer. She's president of the New Mexico Nurses Association and a member of the American Nurses Association. She is a strong advocate for nurse practice at the state and national level, serving as the New Mexico American Nurses Association delegate for membership assembly and is a fellow of the American Nurses Advocacy Institute. Please join me in welcoming UNM College of Nursing alumna, Dr. Rachel Frija. Oh my goodness. Can y'all hear me? That's gonna have to be like this. Is this good? Good. <laughs> Thank you all so much for having me. It's such an honor to, to be here with you all today. Um, I can't even say this enough. Welcome to this profession. I am so pleased this is the path that you have chosen because I can tell you firsthand it has been so successful and rewarding for me. I'm very much like Dr. Montoya. I'm the first person in my family to ever go to college, and I am a little bit of an overachiever, so of course I had to go the distance, because that's just how I am. <laughs> um, what I really want to impart about uh, to you today, I started thinking, hey, I'm here, what would I tell these guys? They're just starting their nursing career. What do I wish people would have told me or gave me a little nugget of wisdom that I can pass on to you? And that's what I want to do today. 
I actually went to nursing school straight out of high school. Um, so if that's you, hey, congratulations. I've never looked back and I've honestly never had another profession. Um, can you tell I don't have hobbies? My hobbies are the nursing profession. It is what I like to do to fill my time. So here is what I want to impart on you today, and I'm so excited for your journey. One of my favorite things about being a nurse is you can quite literally do anything. I've done a million things. Thank you for the long read, but truly, I've done a million things. I've been able to work at the bedside with some of the sickest patients there are to care for, and I, and I mean that deeply, and it was very rewarding. I was also able to work in clinical research and see things from a whole different angle, from a whole different perspective. I found I enjoyed that very much, and then I could transition and do some other things. So I thought, hey, I did this job pretty good. Maybe I should be you know, a monitor or a regulatory person. So I actually did that role in compliance. I went on and did some project director work, and I was asked by one of my colleagues to build a little macro in Excel at the time, because um, we needed some help getting some data. I was a data person for a while. And I taught myself how to code, and I actually wound up building some uh, software that we used at the place of employment I was at. Now you have these nurse informaticists doing this work all the time, every day. I've been an educator. I've been a manager, a leader, and worked on the floor. You will never, ever, ever be bored. If you want to do something in this field, you have the opportunity. And you just think about all of these other types of careers out there in the world. I just don't know any that are this versatile. So again, I can't, I can't tell you how excited I am. This is the path you chose. Uh, and trust me, I'm one of those people, if you're like, hey, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, I still don't. Um, I'm going to say, well, go into nursing. You'll figure it out. It's going to come to light eventually. So here are my tips, though, right? Because you're just starting out and have a little ways to go yet. My first thing I want to impart on you is invest in yourself. Invest in self-care. This isn't an easy degree. I wish I could say it was. It's not. It's going to take a lot of work, right? But do take that time to invest in yourself. Make sure that you are getting that sleep. You are taking those breaks. It's so essential to help you be successful in your journey right now. On top of investing in yourself, I'm really encouraging you to lean into learning, right? You're in school, you already know, oh gosh, here we go, we're just getting this started. Uh, well, congratulations, you just chose a career that's just lifelong learning forever. Healthcare is constantly changing. There's always an opportunity to learn more in something new. That's the exciting thing about this career. And I, I really just encourage you to just lean into that. That's part of the process. My other advice of this would be, is to invest in your practice. You're like, what are you talking about? I don't have a practice yet. Well, you have joined the team already, so you have a dog in the fight. Um, by that I mean, I really encourage you to join your student nurses association, to join other um, types of affiliations. We have ENA, you can join as a student if, if you're into emergency room, like whatever your passion is. The reason I tell you this is because it's never too late to start advocating for your profession and your career. And I'm gonna assure you, there are other people out there that would be happy to m manage your careers for you or this profession for you. So you are responsible for what this profession looks like. We're passing that torch on to you. So I encourage you to strongly to be involved. It's important. That's why these things aren't happening to you. You're part of that process. So I highly encourage that. And then my last lesson I want to impart on you is celebrate the small wins. This is a long road. And I know that sometimes it feels overwhelming, perhaps, but that's okay. I want you to take that time to celebrate those small wins. You're going to make connections and friendships in this group right now that I promise you will last a lifetime. Um, it's like no other. It's like going through something very special together. So if you look around at your friends beside you, these are lifelong friends that you're going to make and colleagues that are going to help get you through those tough times. Again, I can't say it enough. I'm just grateful uh, to see you all join this profession and be a part of this team with us. I, I know you're in good hands because Dr. Montoya is going to make sure because you're also going to be those people taking care of me too. So I appreciate that. 
Again, thank you for allowing me to be here and share some time with you today. I look forward to you getting your white coat. Thank you. So um, we want to be sure that you have a, another white coat. So this is for you. This way you have it directly from the College of Nursing. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. So um, I'm going to ask Dr. Um, Kristen ostrom Nekovich to come on. Yes, and thank you. Take my place. Hi, everybody. I am uh, on the far side of a cold, so I am using my mask appropriately when I start to cough. So hopefully you can hear me through the microphone. Um, let me find my spot here. Well, my name is Kristen, Kristen Ostrom Nimsevich. I'm using uh, some cough drops here, so pardon me. And I am a proud graduate of UNM College of Nursing. I graduated with my master's in nursing in 1994 and stayed on for a postmaster's certificate in 1996 uh, or 1997 and I uh, am a family nurse practitioner. So I'm a nurse midwife and a nurse practitioner. Um, and currently I'm the interim assistant dean for the UNM College of Nursing uh, undergraduate program. And I would like to welcome all of you to the white coat ceremony. The University of New Mexico College of Nursing comes from a rich history. In the spring of 1955, $60,000 was approved as a line item in the university's budget during the state legislative session to establish the College of Nursing. This also marked the creation of the first Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree program in the state of New Mexico. In June 1959, the University of New Mexico awarded 12 Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees to the first graduates. In addition to being the first college of nursing in the state and offering the first Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, the college has paved the way for nursing education in the state by offering the first advanced practice master's programs and the state's first doctor of philosophy in nursing degree. After over 60 years with more than 8,500 alumni, approximately 1,000 students, I think we have a little over 1,000, are currently enrolled across the bachelor's, master's, post-master's, and doctoral programs, and following in the footsteps and traditions laid by many visionary and dedicated nurses who shaped the rich history of the college. Now, I would like to call April Tafoya, who is level one coordinator for the College of Nursing, up to the podium to talk about our five levels of nursing in the pre-licensure program. Thank you, April. Hello, everyone. I am so excited to see the future of nursing sitting right here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm April Tafoya, Level 1 Coordinator for Albuquerque and Rio Rancho and teach some Level 1 courses here. Um, I've been blessed to be working at the College of Nursing for over a year now, moving into a full-time position here at the undergraduate program. My heart belongs to nursing education. My main role and goal, like all the other Level Coordinators and instructors, is to promote your success. I am here to facilitate any issues as well. I am so happy to be one of your go-to people during your first experience in nursing school. Now please welcome Kathy Dolan-Cox as she introduces you to the Level 2 program. Hello, my name is Kathy Dolan-Cox and I'm the Level 2 coordinator. I teach in Level 2 and 3 um, in Rio Rancho. I wanna welcome you here to the College of Nursing and thank you for choosing UNM to be part of your education. A little bit about level two. Level two focuses on wellness of individuals, families, and populations across the life lifespan. Level two challenges the development of critical thinking. It introduces the skills needed to assess our clients and our communities uh, to improve the treatments and patients' outcomes. 
Please, at any time and any level, if you ever need assistance, you can reach out to me. Now please welcome Maggie Faber. Uh, she is the level three coordinator. Hi everyone, welcome. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about level three. In level three, you move from learning and caring for stable patients and wellness concepts to more chronic, acute chronic conditions. You will begin to utilize evidence-based practice in nursing care for chronically ill patients in a hospital clinical setting. It's very fun. Level three lab includes nursing skills such as starting an IV, placing a urinary catheter, using sterile technique, and wound care. You will also begin to incorporate diverse patient values, beliefs, and attitudes into the plan of care for patients and their families as you learn about complex medical issues such as palliative care and diabetes, just to name a very few. Uh, now I'd like to welcome Emery Taylor, who is level four faculty, as he introduces you to the level four of the nursing program. Hello, welcome to the College of Nursing. I'm very happy to see you all here. Level four emphasizes more acute care related concepts, um, the reasons why your patients are admitted to the hospital and life and death situations that may arise. In this level, students move from the, more from the how to the why of nursing care. And so it really builds on what you have learned. We emphasize the development of clinical judgment, both in the classroom and with 192 hours in multiple healthcare settings. Now, please welcome Leanna Vargas as she tells you about level five. Hello, welcome. Um, I have the, I'm very honored to be up here. Welcome you guys, seeing, welcome you to the College of Nursing. I'm obviously a little nervous, <laughs> but level five is my favorite level, and it's, it's my favorite level not only because I'm the level coordinator, but because it represents the culmination of your learning. In level five, we set into acute care settings, but also talk about big picture items, about the healthcare systems that you're gonna be working in, and have robust conversations around health policy and what it means to be an advocate for your profession, but also for nursing. Um, it's, it's key for us to propel you into a very um, challenging profession, but a rewarding one. We also hope that we lay the foundation for you to seek advanced practice degrees um, from level five. So um, I can hardly wait to see you in level five. Thanks everybody. We have such great faculty. You're so lucky. Um, and uh, I think you're gonna, um, uh, appreciate every level as it builds on, on itself. Um, so, let's see. Um, so it's my uh, privilege now to start the white coat uh, donning, okay? And so we're gonna be welcoming the class of 2025 to the stage to receive their white coats. And I would like to ask Dean um, to Montoya Dr. Dakin and April Tofoyo to please join me. So you're gonna go over for the pictures. You're gonna come up, but first we're gonna say, let's see, we're gonna do the coats first. Yeah, good, okay. So you're gonna do the She said to slide them in. Slide them in the top. Okay. Please welcome Maria Bollenbach. Monica Larea de Ariano. 
Christina Silva. Monique Sidio. Jasmine Pablo. Skylar Claw. Santiago Lumbuck. Vicente Gomez, <laughs> Tanya Velasquez, Isabel Teasdale. Maya Sanders Smith, Alyssa Rosales, Chino Malake, Nat Rusa. Maria Salazar. Cherie. Cherie Beck. Fallon Crispin. Andrea Lopez. <laughs> Alexandra Robertson. Jasmine Salazar. <laughs> Alyssa Alba. Deanna Crushaw. <laughs> Alize Nivan. <laughs> Bernadette Wynn. <laughs> v Chow. Steve Reboyero. <laughs> Simran Coloti. <laughs> Victoria Rodriguez. <laughs> Bianca Resendez. Lente Mary Montoya Lydia Diaz Jeremy Gonzalez. <laughs> oh my God. Yamilet Cordell. Andrea Barella.
Garrett Slama. David Hwang. Liliana Rodarte. Amber Paul. Lily Lukow. Jasmine Vicente. Brianna Barraza. Larina Romero. Jasmine Chavez. Mariah Bitchell. Caitlin Curtis. Corianne Downs. Jillian Tenori. Grace Salazar. Amari Hayner. Harriet Crofton. Melanie Ruiz. Brittany Castaneda. Christine Talley. Connor Downs. Emily Poppy. Yeah. Jacob McLean. Daryl Thomas, the second. Stephen Montano. Bailey Brion. Amor Chavez. Marcus Sanchez. Ariana Montoya. Casey Heckroth. Adamus Scouta. Paul Pina. Shayla Ray. Yeah. 
Peyton Myers. Renee Youngbin. Kaden Yazi. Jamie Cruz Sandoval. Cody Cottle. Thomas Rogers. Savannah Martinez King. Juliana Navarrete. Brianna Blea. Kaylee Tran. Carissa Salcido. Gabriela Garcia. Savannah Wing. Mia Lutens. Diego Chavez. Cassidy Sletton. Anna Smogas. Angela Lua Adebola. Brooke Halverson. Julieta Huri Delgado. Hanny, Hannah Lee. My Daminov. Jaden Peralta. Paulina Forzan. Jesslyn Strader. Haley Flores. Tessa Jenner. Isabel La Couture Vigil. Caitlin Chavez. Megan McCoy. Amanda Bragg. Kristen Henderson. Nicole Moschetti. Wyetta Bradley. Kara Higa. Marion Kiki.
Zahia Abdel Jawad. Judith Lucero. Melanie Lip I'm so sorry. Melanie Lip who sure. So sorry. Juliana Silva. Ariana Rodriguez. Corrine Shaney. Charlize Herrera. Josephine Titus. Zahia Kweiss. And Sikriti Papa. Dr. Day, can we join you? Good evening. I am Dr. Dakin and I'm the special assistant to the assistant dean. Congratulations, nursing students. <laughs> the profession of nursing is steeped in years of tradition and rites of passage. One of those includes the nurse's oath, where we pledge to embody all that it is to be a nurse. You can find the nursing oath on page five of your program. We invite all nurses with us here today to recite the oath with our students. Nurses and nursing students, please stand, and I will ask Dr. Ostrom to lead us in the oath. Okay, thumbs up when you're ready. Yeah, good, okay. As a nurse, dedicated to providing the highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge that I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns, act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my care, apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients, exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements, accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence, promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and the rights of the patient. With this pledge, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Excellent, please be seated. Can we do the next part? Nursing students. Nursing students, on behalf of the faculty and staff at the College of Nursing, please accept our sincere welcome and congratulations on your journey to becoming nurses. This concludes our program. Students, please remain seated for a group photograph. I would like to invite Kathy Montoya, our photographer, to the stage to take a group photo of the seated students. Thank you to family and friends in attendance we will ask that you wait outside in the lobby to congratulate your student. Have a wonderful evening and thank you.